Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Have you ever wanted to customize the look of your table in Power BI? Especially when it comes to hyperlinks like URLs and mail IDs? Power BI tables do not have built-in options to change the default hyperlink icons which can limit your design flexibility. But don't worry, I'll show you a workaround where you can replace the plain looking hyperlink icons with custom SVG icons, making your table more visually engaging and user friendly. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to add these icons to your Power BI table so that it looks more pleasing. So let's get started with this tutorial. There is a website called svgrepo.com. I will leave a link to the website in the description below. You can search for vectors or icons in here. Let's say for example, you need a mail icon. I will simply search for mail. And here you have a huge repository of different icons that you can choose from, like your monocolor icons, your multicolor icons, your door tone, etc. There are loads of options that are available here. Now let's choose an icon here of your choice. Let's say for example, you like this icon. Let's click on this and then click on download SVG vector. Once this is downloaded, all you have to do is right click and select edit in notepad. You will see a code something like this. Select the data here all the way from SVG until the end of the code. You can ignore the first two lines here and then copy the code here. Head to Power BI and let's add a new measure here. I'm going to add a new measure. Let's call this measure here as email underscore icon underscore two because I already have an email icon here and then I'm going to paste this particular data that we just copied and now what you have to do is select the double code that you have and press control shift and L so that it will select all the occurrences in your DAX code and now I will replace that with a single code. I just want to replace the double code here with single code. You can also do this in the notepad if you'd like to, but I thought I'll teach you another way of replacing multiple characters in your DAX code, which is by pressing Control Shift and L. That will select all occurrences of that particular selected text in your DAX measure. Now that we have replaced all the double quotes here with single quotes, I will now open double quotes here and then end with double quotes at the end of this and then click on Confirm. Now what you need to do is you need to click on this email icon to here and change the data category from uncategorized to image URL. And now let's bring in this particular email icon here into our table and you will see that the data is not appearing here. That is because you need to add another line of code so that Power BI can identify that this is an image. So let's go to the email icon measure that I already have here. Now all you have to do is copy the first section of the code here until ampersand. That is the data slash image slash SVG. I will add this section of the code in the description below so you can copy that data right from there. You can simply copy this and then simply paste the code here and click on confirm. And now you can see that the email icon is appearing in our table. Now all you have to do is go to the format tab. You can change the image size here if you would like. Let's say if you want a bigger image size, you can do so right from here. You can change the number of pixels. You can control the height and width. I am happy with about 30, so I'm going to leave it at that. Now, once you have added that, now you can see that this is not clickable. And so what we will do is we will go to the cell elements section and then scroll down and choose email icon to series that I have here and then enable web URL. In the web URL section here, you will have to refer this to the field where you have your email stored. In this case, I have the measure here called email and then I'm going to click on OK. Let me show you the measure that I have here as well. So basically, I have concatenated this with mail to colon followed by the email ID that I have here. And now that I have added the URL to the icon here, I can simply click on this URL here and then select allow. Now this will automatically launch a pop-up box which will let me send the email directly to that particular person. Just like how I added the icon here, the same way we will have to do this for the URL as well. Now back in SVG repo website, I'm gonna search here for URL here. There are various options again here to choose from. You can choose an icon here of your choice. Let's say for example, I want this icon here. I can simply click on download SVG vector and then right click the SVG that you have downloaded and select edit in notepad. And this time you will see that there is a little longer code. That is because we have colors as well. There is stroke that is there. There are multiple options that are available in that because it's also a colored icon. That's why we see a lot of lines here. So I'm going to copy all the data here all the way from SVG until the end of SVG here. Copy this, head back into Power BI. I'm going to create a new measure and let's call this as URL underscore icon underscore two is equal. So you can paste that piece of code here 
and then select the double quote here and press Control shift and l and just type in the single quote here so that it will be replaced now let's come to the beginning of the code here and enter the double quotes now let's head to the end of the code and add the quotes here and then click on confirm and now i need to add the first piece of code here i'm going to simply copy this head back to our url icon too and then paste that data here and then click on confirm and now if i bring in the url icon to here the data does not appear because i have missed changing the data category here into an image url so once i do that you will see that our image url icon is already appearing here now so all you have to do is repeat the same process go to cell elements select url icon to here enable web url and now you can choose the url here which is the url field that i have and then click on ok and now when i click on this icon you will see that i'm now being directed to the url or the link that i have in my url so this is how you will be able to add custom icons into your Power BI table. Now you can use these SVG icons to elevate your Power BI report. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.